Do you like stories? I want to tell you a true story. It happened to a friend of mine a year ago. While my friend George was reading in bed, two thieves climbed into his kitchen. After they had entered the house, they went into the dining room. It was very dark, so they turned on a torch. Suddenly, they heard a voice behind them. What's up? What's up? Someone called. The thieves dropped the torch and ran away as quickly as they could. George heard the noise and came downstairs quickly. He turned on the light, but he couldn't see anyone. The thieves had already gone. But George's parrot, Henry, was still there. What's up, George? he called. Nothing, Henry, George said and smiled. Go back to sleep. Do you like stories? I want to tell you a true story. It happened to a friend of mine a year ago. While my friend George was reading in bed, two thieves climbed into his kitchen. After they had entered the house, they went into the dining room. It was very dark, so they turned on a torch. Suddenly, they heard a voice behind them. What's up? What's up? Someone called. The thieves dropped the torch and ran away as quickly as they could. George heard the noise and came downstairs quickly. He turned on the light, but he couldn't see anyone. The thieves had already gone. But George's parrot, Henry, was still there. What's up, George? he called. Nothing, Henry, George said and smiled. Go back to sleep. Do you like stories? I want to tell you a true story. It happened to a friend of mine a year ago. While my friend George was reading in bed, two thieves climbed into his kitchen. After they had entered the house, they went into the dining room. It was very dark, so they turned on a torch. Suddenly, they heard a voice behind them. What's up? What's up? Someone called. The thieves dropped the torch and ran away as quickly as they could. George heard the noise and came downstairs quickly. He turned on the light, but he couldn't see anyone. The thieves had already gone. But George's parrot, Henry, was still there. What's up, George? he called. Nothing, Henry, George said and smiled. Go back to sleep.